back structure in place. I think we'll backpedal a little bit here and I think we'll turn this rectangle into a um, an area of pavers with a border on it just to give it a little better feel for how the pergola is going to be sitting in its environment. So I think to do that we're just going to go in here double click into this group and we'll pull this down into let's say a four inch thick concrete slab. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's go 10 inches on each side. And I'm just going to go around with that tool and shrink this by 10 inches all the way around. I'll just make it double click and make all this stuff a group within a group. Oh, I guess there is, that's, yeah, that's a group within a group and that'll work out good. I'm just going to jump in there and copy, control C, copy that top surface. Now I'm outside of that group. I'm going to edit and paste in place. Right click this and make it a group. So we don't mix the two up. Now I'm, so we can work on this, I'm just going to move this slab. This might be a little tricky because they're laying on top of each other. Watch me lift the concrete slab 10 feet near. I didn't think I could do it, did you? There you have it. That's called a floating slab. Anyways, um, so now we're going to double click into this group and double click again. And take the offset tool and make this, let's see, 18 inches bigger. And then delete the middle part of it so we end up with a border Then we'll just drag this down four inches and that should give us an area for actually let's make this concrete and then the piece in the middle will be make that pavers okay so I'm gonna lower the concrete slab 10, 10 feet puts it in place so we have a group that has a center piece and a border piece on it.